Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the soft serial option in Metaflight in order to add two extra CPU based UART ports to your flight controller. Even though the soft serial option in Betaflight has been around for quite a while, I still think that you might find this video useful since flight controllers with a limited number of UART ports such as the AJRC-35 and pretty much every all-in-one toothpick style flight controller are becoming very popular. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the soft serial option in order to add a GPS unit to the AJRC Zeus 35, but you can use the same method in order to add other peripheral devices as well. First, let's start with the problem that the soft serial option is going to solve. On the Zeus 35, you can find only two UART ports. So for example, on this build, I'm using UART 1 for controlling the smart audio feature of the Rush Tiny Tank VTX, and the TBS Crossfire Nano Receiver is soldered to TX2 and RX2 pads. So both your ports are occupied, and in case I want to add a GPS device, I'm facing an issue, which is the exact problem that the soft serial option is going to solve. The first step to configure your flight controller to use soft serial is to enable it. So under the configuration tab on Betaflight, head over to the other features section, enable the soft serial switch, and hit save and reboot. Now we need to determine which pads on the flight controller we can use. The best option, in my opinion, is to head over to the CLI tab on Betaflight, type resource, press enter, and here you can see the available list of resources and their mapped values. Since in order to get the GPS working, you will need to solder the RX and TX pads on the GPS, to TX and RX pads on the flight controller, and since the TX and RX pads on the flight controllers are already in use, I'm going to use Moto Signal number 5 and RX1 pads using the soft serial option. The GPS unit is going to be powered using 5 volts, so as you can see, it's soldered to the plus 5 volts and ground pads on the flight controller. And just as a reminder, the TX pad on the GPS needs to be soldered to the RX pad on the flight controller, and the RX pad on the GPS needs to be soldered to the TX pad on the flight controller. So the RX1 pad is going to be configured as a soft serial TX1. And the Moto Signal number 5 pad is going to be configured as a soft serial RX1. Now we will need to configure the new soft serial UART port. For that, we'll need to head over to the CLI tab, type again resource and press enter. And we need to locate the Moto 5 and serial RX1 pads that we connected to the GPS. The resource value of Moto 5 is B03, and the resource value of serial RX1 is A10. First, we need to free these two resources. For that, I'm going to type resource moto5 and then none. Press enter. Resource CLRX1. Again, none. Press enter. And now I'm going to map resource TX11, which is the first soft serial, to the previous value of CLRX1. So it's going to be mapped to A10. So the command is resource serial underscore TX 11 A10. And the serial RX 11 is going to be mapped to B03, which was the value of Moto 5. Now we need to press enter, save the settings. And now under the ports tab on Metaflight, we can see soft serial number one. Now we can configure the GPS device. We need to enable the GPS switch on the configuration tab. I'm using a UBlox protocol. We can hit save and reboot, and as you can see, now the GPS is identified, and if you got everything right, and the GPS is turned on, the GPS icon over here is going to be highlighted. You should note that you are limited to two soft serial ports, so for example, if I would like to configure another soft serial port, I will need in a similar way like before, configure serial RX12 and serial RX12, save the settings, and as you can see, now another soft serial appeared on the ports tab. You should note that when using the soft serial option, the CPU load is going to increase, and as you can see, sometimes it gets to 100% since the gyro update frequency and the PID loop frequency are set to 8 kHz. So in case the CPU load gets to 100%, you should definitely change these values. So if I'm going to, for example, change it to 4 and 4, as you can see, now the CPU load is going to be decreased. And if I'm going to change it back to 8 and 8, as you can see again, the CPU load is very high. But if I'm going to disable the soft serial option, as you can see, the CPU load has been decreased. So this is something that you should keep in mind. 
So overall, using the soft serial option is not very complicated and it can be quite handy, especially when using these type of boards with limited amount of UI ports. And by the way, as I mentioned before, you are not limited only to GPS devices and you can use it with pretty much every device that is compatible with the UI port. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.